trusting in God's promise of security amidst uncertainty. In life, uncertainty is unavoidable. It can be difficult to find security and peace of mind amidst the chaos of the unknown. However, the Bible provides us with a source of comfort and assurance, God's promise of security for those who place their trust in Him. Romans 8, 31 reminds us that if God is for us, who can be against us? This message will explore how we can lean on God's promise of security amidst the uncertainty of life. Welcome, kindred soul. I'm honored to be here with you and share spirit-led messages to nourish your soul. As we go through the teachings, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Return any time you want clarification or simply want more nourishment. At the end, I will be providing you with the option of extended teachings if you wish to continue. Let's open the best frequency by speaking words of positivity. I am light, loved, and whole, created and designed for a purpose. I give and receive abundance, and work with all my heart as I open the pathway for others. Understanding God's Promise of Security As we journey through life, we encounter various challenges and uncertainties that can make us feel anxious and fearful about the future. However, as believers, we can rest in the assurance of God's promise of security. In Romans 8, 31, we read, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse reassures us that no matter what we face in life, God is on our side, and He will always provide for our needs and protect us from harm. God's promise of security goes beyond just physical protection. It also includes emotional and spiritual security. In Isaiah 41, 10, we read, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse shows us that God is not only present with us in our moments of fear and distress, but He also strengthens us and upholds us with His righteous right hand. Furthermore, God's promise of security is not just for a select few. It is available to all who place their trust in Him. In John 10, 28 Jesus said, I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. This verse shows us that once we place our trust in Jesus, we become part of his flock, and he becomes our shepherd, who leads and protects us always. In summary, God's promise of security is all encompassing. It includes physical, emotional, and spiritual security, and it is available to all who place their trust in Him. As we journey through life, we can hold on to God's promise of security with confidence, knowing that He is always with us and for us. The Source of Our Security, Our Relationship with God In times of uncertainty and unpredictability, it's easy to become overwhelmed with fear and anxiety. But as believers in Christ, we have access to a promise of security that surpasses any human understanding. This promise comes from our relationship with God. As our Creator and Father, God desires a close and intimate relationship with us. He knows us intimately and has a perfect plan for our lives. And it's through this relationship that we find true security and peace. Our security doesn't come from our circumstances or our possessions. It doesn't come from the opinions of others or even our own abilities. Rather, it comes from our unwavering trust in God and the promise of security that He has given us. In Psalm 27, 1, David writes, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? This verse encapsulates the essence of our security. When we put our faith in God and allow Him to be the stronghold of our lives, we have nothing to fear. Through Christ, we have been given access to a new identity and a new way of life. We are no longer defined by our circumstances or our past mistakes. Instead, we are defined by our relationship with God and the promises He has given us. In John 10, 28-29, Jesus says, I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. This verse assures us that nothing can separate us from God's love and protection. We can rest secure in the knowledge that we are held tightly in His hands. So, when fear and anxiety threaten to overwhelm us, we can hold on to the promise of security that comes from our relationship with God. He is faithful to His promises and will never leave us or forsake us. May we trust in Him completely and find true security in His loving embrace. The Importance of Trusting in God's Promise of Security Life can be unpredictable, and uncertainty is often an unwelcome companion. Whether it's worrying about finances, job security, relationships, or health, it's easy to get caught up in anxiety and fear about the future. However, as believers, we have access to an unshakable promise of security from God Himself. In Romans 8, 31, the Apostle Paul writes, What, then, shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This powerful statement serves as a reminder that our ultimate security comes from our relationship with God. As long as we trust in Him and His plan for our lives, nothing can separate us from His love and protection. Trusting in God's promise of security isn't just a matter of feeling comforted or protected. It's a deeply important part of our faith, shaping how we live our lives and make decisions. When we know that God is on our side, we can approach every situation with courage and confidence knowing that we are never alone. Of course, trusting in God's promise of security is easier said than done. When we're facing challenges and struggles, it's easy to doubt God's plan or question whether He truly has our best interests at heart. That's why it's so important to develop a deep and intimate relationship with God, building our trust in Him through prayer, worship, and study of His Word. One practical way to strengthen our trust in God's promise of security is to turn to His promises in times of doubt and anxiety. Verses like Isaiah 41, 10, which promises that God will strengthen and uphold us, or Psalm 91, which speaks of God's protection and shelter, can be powerful reminders of God's unwavering love for us. Ultimately, Trusting in God's promise of security requires a daily commitment to surrender our fears and worries to Him. By putting our faith in Him and His plan for our lives, we can live with courage and confidence, secure in the knowledge that we are loved and protected by the Creator of the universe. Overcoming Fear and Anxiety Through Faith in God's Plan We live in an uncertain world. There are many things that we cannot control, and this can cause fear and anxiety. It's easy to become overwhelmed and lose sight of God's promise of security. However, we don't have to let our circumstances dictate our emotions. We can choose to put our faith in God's plan and trust that He is in control. When we feel afraid or anxious, we can turn to God's word for comfort and guidance. Philippians 4, 6-7 reminds us, Do not be anxious about anything, 
But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We can also look to the example of Jesus, who faced many challenges during his time on earth. In the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours, be done. Luke 22, 42, Jesus trusted in God's plan, even though it meant suffering and death. Trusting in God's plan doesn't mean that everything will be easy or that we won't face challenges. It means that we believe that God is with us, guiding us, and working for our good. Romans 8, 28 tells us, And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. As we trust in God's plan, we can overcome fear and anxiety. We can focus on the things that we can control such as our attitudes and actions. We can pray for wisdom and guidance, and we can seek support from our community of faith. We can also remember that we are not alone. God promises to be with us always, even in the midst of our struggles. Practical Ways to Hold On to God's Promise of Security in Daily Life Trusting in God's promise of security isn't just a matter of believing in His goodness, but also involves implementing practical ways to hold on to that promise in our daily lives. Here are a few ways we can strengthen our trust in God's plan for our lives and find greater peace and security in uncertain times. 1. Prioritize prayer and devotion time. Spending regular time with God through prayer, reading the Bible, and other spiritual practices is crucial to building and maintaining a strong relationship with Him. When we prioritize our devotion time, we are more likely to feel grounded and secure in our faith, even when challenges arise. 2. Practice Gratitude Taking time each day to focus on the blessings and good things in our lives can help us maintain a positive perspective and keep our trust in God's plan. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude can also help us recognize God's provision and faithfulness in our lives, which can strengthen our confidence in His promise of security. 3. Lean on community. Having a strong support system of family, friends, and fellow believers can provide us with the encouragement and accountability we need to stay faithful and grounded in our faith. When we feel overwhelmed or anxious, Reaching out to trusted community members can help us find comfort and reassurance in God's love and care for us. 4. Serve Others Actively seeking out opportunities to serve others and demonstrate God's love can help us stay focused on His plan and purpose for our lives, rather than our own fears and concerns. When we put others' needs before our own, we often find a greater sense of fulfillment and purpose which can help us maintain our trust in God's plan. 5. Practice self-care. Taking care of our physical, emotional, and mental health is essential to staying grounded and secure in our faith. When we prioritize our own well-being, we are better equipped to face challenges and trust in God's plan for our lives. Ultimately, Holding on to God's promise of security involves both spiritual and practical steps. By prioritizing our relationship with Him, cultivating gratitude and community, serving others, and practicing self-care, we can build a strong foundation of trust in His goodness and plan for our lives. Thank you for listening to this teaching. If you would like to go further with this teaching, or any others, please visit firstlightteaching.com. I also want to thank any of you who may have donated. Your blessings have provided me the opportunity to bring this to you and share my light with the world.